Hello Mariners, this is Sarah Hosepian here to give you a quick tutorial on how to update your pages on our Edleo website. The first thing I'd like to recommend is that you go to our actual home page, which is PacificaMariners.com. I like doing that when I'm editing my pages on Edleo because it allows me to see what the pages look like live on the website once I've made my changes. So you'll see here that I've gone ahead and opened that tab on my browser as well. The next tab you're going to want to open is the back end, as we call it, of the site. This is where we're going to make all our changes to the website pages that we're interested in making changes to. Go ahead and go to admin.pacificamariners.com and logging in. You're going to use a username and password, which hopefully you have remembered, but should you not remember it, you can click here on the troubleshooting to have them email you your password. If you really get stuck, go ahead and email me and I'll try and help you out. So I'm going to log in here now. And here we are. Back to the presentation. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is to update pages. Now there's two places you can go to do that. You can go to the dashboard where the pages can be found here, or you can go to what we call the hamburger menu and find the pages there. I tend to go to the hamburger menu most, so I'm going to show that. But first I'll show you, here's the dashboard, here's the pages, so you can click there. And here's the other option, click here. Back to the presentation. Now you're going to choose personal pages if you want to edit your teacher web pages. And for the majority of you, this is what this presentation will be helping you with. There are, however, a few of you who have access to category pages. You might be a department chair, or you might help oversee certain activities or sports. Those pages can be found under category pages. But for the purposes of this presentation, let's focus on the personal pages. So I'm going to click personal pages. And you'll see here it brings me to my teacher website. Let me go ahead and show you now how you can edit your pages, add new pages, links, albums, calendars, videos, etc. So let's walk through the various options you have here. You'll see that I only have one page associated with my teacher account, and that is the home page. Now, should I want to edit that home page, I'm going to click on the edit button here with the pencil. And there's a couple things I am able to do. You'll see that I already have a text box here, and the way that I got that is I clicked on content and I dragged it in. So let me show you that again. I can click content again and it'll give me another text box for that page. And all you do is you start typing in here. Welcome to my class. Here's information you need to know, etc., etc. Now notice when I'm typing in this box, these menu items appear. All of these should look fairly familiar to you. You have bullets, numbers, you can change the font color, font size, and formatting. You can even add a table if you wish or individual images. Something I particularly like is the ability to add in a link. So should you have an outside website that you want to reference people to within the text of your page, you can type that website name here, highlight the text that you want to hyperlink, and then insert the link here. And here you would type the website name and you would click OK. OK. That would enable people to click right there and find the link that you want to bring them to. I'll show you in a minute where else you can put links. In addition to adding text, and do notice that you can drag this and I can even move that on up and make that up there first. I can also delete it, which right now I definitely want to do because that was just a sample for today's presentation. The other two options you can do on any of the pages that you have for your teacher page is you can add a photo gallery. And this is just where you add photos from your computer somewhere. You can either drag them into this area or you can click add photo and you can drag them from your computer. Another option is files. So should you have files that you feel are pretty static throughout the whole year, such as a syllabus or other reference materials, this is a great place to put that. Again, select a file here or drag and drop there. I'm going to go ahead and delete these right now, though, because this isn't my intention to keep those there. Any changes you make, you do need to save. So I'm going to save those now. 
and let's say I'm done editing my home page and providing the information here that I want to offer. I'm going to go back to my name here and I can add links separately. So I can choose a new link and let's say I want to link people to um, a website that I reference quite often. So in my case, let's say it is a grammar website that we use quite a bit in English. So no red ink. I'll type right here www.noredink.com. Click Save. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like on the live site. Now that I've added that link there, I'm going to go down on our Pacifica Mariners page to Staff Directory. I'm going to find my name, just as you would do for your name. And now you'll see that the link shows up right there on the right hand side. So to make this connection for everybody, any of these horizontal bars here will represent a different area in this blue box. So if I wanted to have separate links that pop up like that, because I, I felt like they were prominent enough, I would add new link. But if you just wanted a links area, you can choose this option. So links here, this is another added feature. You can click links and you can manage them. So I could choose to add a link here. Again, I could use the same one, no red ink. Type that in. I can add information about the site. And I can also choose different categories to associate it with if I wanted to get really fancy. And you might want to do that if you have a variety of links just to help organize them. I'll then click Save. And now let's go back to this page, refresh it, and see what this looks like now. Now I have an area that's called Links. It brings visitors to a new page, and now all the links are organized in one place. I have to say, for the purposes of a teacher page, I think using links is the better option because it allows you to have a more organized approach. Whereas if you were to add a new link to create something right there in the blue box, um, it could become a rather large blue box over time. All right, so now I'm going to go back to pages. And I'm going to go ahead and remove that link because I actually do like the links area better. I'm going to delete that. Are you sure? Yes. A couple other things that I can add. Oh, and, and before I move on to, I could create a new page. So let's say I don't just want a home page. I want a page that um, is dedicated to information that is, you know, separate from my class. Maybe I want a page of reference materials. Or maybe I want a page that is dedicated just to um, the labs in my class if I taught science. Or a page dedicated to projects we do in class. The options are endless, but you can create new pages by clicking New Page, giving it a title here, and just like I mentioned before, add content as needed here. Click Save. I'll head on back to my home area, and you'll see that I have a new page here showing what it looks like on the live site. You'll see that this brings us to a completely separate page full of all information if I wanted to do that. All right, last but not least, down here in the Add feature, you can also add videos, photo album, and even a recent activity option. Videos would be great if you actually have videos for your class that you want to showcase. I find that a lot of teachers choose to use the photo album because it is quite user friendly. So let's go ahead and show that real quick. You're going to create a new album, give it a title, and then it's going to prompt you to drag and drop photos from your computer. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty similar to any other social media tool that you might be using. And you'll see now that I've chosen that, it pops up here as an option. But let's say you no longer wish to have photos there, then you would just go to the edit and you'd have to remove the album. If there are any existing albums, it's automatically going to show up as, let me refresh, one of the links down here. So notice I'll click on photo album here and it'll bring me to something that's not really existing yet. So if I want to get rid of photos, I have to delete the album that's there. 
going to go back to pages, personal pages, and you'll see the photos are now gone. I'm going to also delete that new page that I created as an example, and I'm leaving it all there. So those are the pages features of the teacher account. Now let's go back to my presentation. Let's say you want to now create your classes. And this is a great way to attach syllabi um, or even individual assignments if you find there's things that you specifically want parents to be aware of. Because do remember that Google Classroom is not viewable by parents, so I know a lot of teachers like to use um, Edlio to be able to share this information. So really quickly, to create classes and to edit the classes that you have, you're going to either go to your dashboard or you're going to go to that hamburger menu. Going to the hamburger menu, I'm going to choose classes and then classes and assignments. Go ahead and click on my classes and this is where you can add a class or edit classes. Let's say you wanted to add a new class. You'll give it the name I'll give it the name of the class that I teach. I'll choose periods, just for an example. And then I'm going to choose the term. So this would be me choosing next school year. Choose the department that it is a part of, if you get that option. And here's where you get to provide information about the course. This location would be a great place for you to attach your syllabus or other class rules, as it says here. This feature here allows you to add a co-teacher, and then of course you're going to save the class. So to show you that sample, if I were to go back to my teacher page and refresh, we should see that there is the additional classes right here that I just created. English 1, 2, and 3, or sorry, period 1, 2, and 3. Um, if I wanted to edit a class, let's say I want to edit one of my classes from this year, you just go and click edit, change information again, add more files, and be done. To add an assignment, you click this box, choose the class that it's associated with, give it a deadline, and provide information and attach any necessary files cancel. Well that just about wraps up the tutorial here on how to edit your teacher pages and add or edit classes that you have. But I do want to highlight one final resource that is the Help Center. It is awesome. They have a Help Center right there from the back end in your admin page. If you have my presentation you can click right here to access it but the way you access it from the admin page is right here. Go up to Help, click Help Center, choose that you are a teacher, and then choose from any of these options. If you have any questions that are not able to be answered by any of these posts, such as how do I manage my pages, how do I edit my personal page, um, how do I find an active term or create a new class, you are welcome to contact me at any time to help you with your Edlio needs. Thank you so much for listening. Let me know if you have any further questions.